from the line of scrimmage, the more you have to do to, for him to trust you. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah you feel well, like you've earned that trust. I feel like I have to. I made, I've tried to make plays. And I feel like I made a couple of plays at uh, the UCF game, and then even in practice, I'm still showing them that I can move around the field, and make plays no matter what. What What do you think prepared you for that first opportunity? Just film, film, and then talking to the guys about, oh, what is the team going to do if, if this happens? What are we going to do? So just recognizing things and just making plays. And you had Craig and you had yeah. other guys that, that were. I had Craig, to... Sky, and Dallin. They were just talking to me throughout the game. Like, look at this key, look at this. And I looked at them and recognized them and then played off that. I had heard that they they'd, uh, had you maybe take some snaps in practice at quarterback. They had me at offense, yeah. Hmm. And they were just looking to see. Because I had played uh, in high school. I played four years, three years a uh, quarterback and the read option and stuff. So they're just looking at it and just to see. So, yeah. So are you doing that this week too? Or? Uh, no. no they got me. Before the well, game? the coaches, they just told me a little bit about it. They haven't really said much of like, oh, if you're going to stay on offense or stay on defense or play both ways. So I don't know. They haven't really said much. But this week you haven't done no, any yet. quarterback work. Okay. Yeah. What about facing Nevada this week? Uh, Nevada, I don't know. We'll be, we'll be good. I just think we need to stop the run first. That's just one big thing that we've been emphasized all week, or all season. Just stop the run and then get them the third down. They can chuck it up and then we'll make plays off the ball. Does the fact that it's homecoming and back in Provo mean anything to you guys? Uh, I think just being back home, here in our crowd, and just having everybody fired up for the game, I think that would be a lot, a lot better than being away. What kind of your reaction when you got thrown into the fire there uh, against UCF? Uh, what, what went through your mind? I was excited. I wasn't, I wasn't timid at all. I looked at Coach Howe, looked him in the eyes, and I was like, it's time to go. He knew that he could trust me, and I, I just tried to prove him right. I was like, I can make plays out here and play at this level. Interception, a thrill for you? Oh yeah, my first one too. So it was, <laughs> it, was it was fun. How did, how did you play that? Just... Well, I had a on that play. I had a half to the field, and I see the QB roll to the boundary. I just start drifting over because I'm looking at the routes and I see uh, one of the slot guys coming down the middle. So I just start breaking towards him. Just see the ball tipped up. And I look and just grab it and start running. Get as many yards as I could. <laughs> Is it easy to stay motivated with the losses, or you guys still have that edge to you? That hunger? I think I, I think the losses like put more of an edge on us because we I feel like the UCF game we played hard, All, everybody played hard, and we just feel like a couple plays we can just tighten up. Only that's all it is, just a couple plays we can just tighten up and then get back to where we were in the beginning of the season. Talking about Nevada, everybody knows that they got a really true dual threat quarterback, probably from the first round. Uh, to go for the quarterback this year, but uh, talk about maybe the receivers and what you guys expect from a. From well, a well, what have what coach and what we've seen in film is number twelve. He's a big dude. I played with him in uh, high school, so I think he'll be good. But I don't know. I haven't really played against him much, so I think if our corners can just cover him or or the safeties, it doesn't matter. That get uh, get get a rush on the QB too and make him like think fast release the ball quick, so I, I think we can handle it. You played with him at Liberty High School? Or? No, he played at Vegas High School. I played against him. <clears throat> yeah, He was a QB at the time, but I guess he's receiver now. He's a big dude, so makes sense. Anybody else? Any running backs? Anybody else? That uh, I think the, the QBs, I think he's pretty good. I think he, he can run. He's a pretty big dude, I heard. So I think if we can just, like I said, get a rush on him and then just wherever he's at, just make plays on him. Maybe there's some more of an emphasis on past defense or practice or preparation. I'd say more just like playing the ball in the air. We see the ball, like receivers, our DBs are on the receivers. It's just, we're looking for the ball and then lose the receiver. But I think if we can just, while the corners or safeties are on that guy, that we can just find that ball and then just make play on it. Coach Howell's been working with Yeah, he's been, he's been working with us just pounding it. Just like, get, find the ball in the air and then make a play on it. So I think we've done a lot better. I think we're going to do a lot better too, so it'll be good. Thank you.